can't believe how good this looks. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Compared to what I started not too long ago. This looks On the incredible. PC, which where it should be better. Um, you just remarked, and I want to echo that, this title screen is fantastic. <laughs> it's so simple. I was like, is there an intro? And I'm like, I don't care. Yeah, who this cares? This is super good. Look, there's the bad man. And then and there then you go. You just go. All right, so let's start. I'll, I'll break down these classes for you real quick. Uh, go all the way to the left. Okay, that's, uh, that's... Han uh, Solo. That's Thief slash Thief. Yep. It's Rogue. Yep. Scout is, uh, Jack of all trades. Han Solo. Soldier is a warrior. Poe. Got it. Custom. That shit. All right. I'm not expecting a ton out of this. I remember how it went the last time. It's better than I expected when I pulled it in. Let's see. Because, like, it's one of those things is like the portraits fit this. the character models. Which is actually pretty nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They do. They do look uh, like I it. forget what fucking game... Divinity Original Sin 1 has this problem where, like, there's a lot of character customization options. But there's not a lot of portraits. Mm. So your character just doesn't look like it. All right. All right. So here, spread. here's... Here's... You could hit Y to start. And uh, what'd you pick? A warrior or a War scout? Uh, I'm, a, I'm a warrior. You picked a, a soldier? Soldier. Great. Uh, in that case... Like, honestly, the recommended things are fine, because strength... Like, so, these are basically simple. Strength is your melee damage. Right? Dex is your, uh, your, your fucking saving throws. And your guns. And, uh, your ranged attacks. Mm -hmm. Constitution is your health. Intelligence is how many skill points you get. Mm -hmm. Uh, wisdom is, uh, your force powers and force saving throws. Mm -hmm. And charisma is just general... Like force power stuff feats and also like damn. I was topic. about to dump into charisma, but then I realized it's not actually charisma. What I is, it was. Okay, the the persuasiveness of charisma. I'm really all about that fun stuff. Is very depending on how much of an asshole you want to be. Yeah, is either useful or totally useless. Okay. So here's the question. Here's the thing, and this is really important. Uh huh. The stat number doesn't matter. Uh -huh. What matters is the modifier that you get. Plus one. Plus one or plus two. So even numbers are... Uh, sorry, odd numbers are worthless. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Now, granted, you will gain stats over the course of the game. Yep. But, like, even numbers are not great. Uh, odd numbers are not great. Okay. Okay. I see how that works. And since since you're going to be a soldier, uh, your skills are not going to be the best, like intelligence wise. And yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm assuming. And I'm so, not necessarily a smarty. So ideally, but, uh, but force powers are going to come. So in handy. ideally, you would want to uh, run with characters that have decent skills. Mm hmm. Okay. And then of course, the amount of vitality is always a question. Mm -hmm. I, I need life. I need life. I can take away from guns. I don't need to necessarily play that heavy. But I really... Can I get this up to plus three? No, I can't. I'm capped at 15, actually. Or no, is it just... It's that expensive to get it further than 14. Mm -hmm. I'm, I should mention, though, that... Uh, at some point, you'll be changing classes. Okay. And uh, so if you want to use a bunch of force powers, for example, with charisma and wisdom... Yeah. You would want to pick one of the, the force classes that has... That has one of that those. That has more of that. Instead. But that when that time comes. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Okay. So you you would be making a hybrid class then, for example. All right. Then I get to pick what abilities you I... You actually want. All right. Well... So you could hit recommended. And oh, yeah. That's true. Start. That's true. And start is just treat injury. Treat injury. injury. <laughs> yeah. Heal yourself. Yeah. Uh, I would personally... I like... Because uh, some of these are cross-class. Some of these are not cross-class. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, like, if you go to repair, who's that? I believe that's a cross-class skill. So Fixed you'll never you'll devices. never be as good with repair as, say, a scout could be. Because right. it costs less. Okay. Uh, stealth, mm, not so sure. Computer use. I feel like that's going to come in handy. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like I want that overall ability to what it sounds like hack now, things. You'll, you'll, you'll get characters that can do these things. And you just send them out instead. Uh, the, only thing that, the only thing that is annoying is that... There are things that your main character has to do. Okay. It has to be your main character. To the relative extreme, 
that I would even say to pick a scout to start, or I would suggest to, so you can get your repair up. Because there's a repair thing that's really cool that you can only do if your repair is high enough. Ah. Uh, well, I, I'm kind of... I like what I have, but if it makes the game... If, if I get less they, out of it... The then... basic deal is that of the three archetypes, Soldier, uh, Scout, and Scoundrel. Scoundrel has the easiest time with all the skill checks, mm -hmm. which aren't that important. Okay. Uh, Soldier has a way easier time with fighting, and Scout is kind of in between. Okay. I'm going to give myself a little bit of persuasion, because I like that. I always I always like the dialogue expansion. The ability to select more options when talking is... is yeah, like I said, it depends how much of an asshole you want to be. If you want to be a massive asshole, that is not going to be helpful to you at all. Uh, because uh, you have force powers. Right, right, right. Okay. But there is there big red options too, right? At points. The, no, no, it's not. It doesn't work like that. That pre this predates. Yeah. Mass Effect shit like that. So there's no. It'll just say in a little bracket. Uh, do bullshit. I do the action. Okay. Yeah. Feats allow uh, special items. And and how's respecking in this game, by the way? What respecking? Oh boy. So that's why that I like. It's important that you actually choose the character you're happy with. The basic deal is that feats are nearly all combat related, mm -hmm. and skills are nearly all non-combat related. Okay. Uh, soldiers get the most amount of feats and the least amount of skills. Okay. So you'll get the most of your combat feats. Yeah. But you won't get nearly as many like out of combat. Yeah, I guess I'm, I'm fine with that as a balance. There is, of course, still no no respecking, but I still pump pump and dump where I want. Yeah, no. You, every level up, you'll pick a place to put your shit, so that I can still yeah. skew myself as I need mm -hmm. to. All right. So I would I would highly advise staying away from gun specific skills for your main character. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, special items or heavy armor implants. Okay, I've been granted. Yeah, soldiers automatically get all the armor proficiencies. Armor stuff. And they also get a bunch of... Power blasts. They also get a bla blaster proficiencies. They a whole also, lot of guns. Well, yeah. Cause, and you get those by default because yep. you're a soldier I'm and a soldier. you're much better at them. I'm a soldier. Even if my m, &M stuff... So you have one remaining feat <laughs> uh, and that you can just pick. Uh, let's see. Demolitions and... I would uh, stay away from those skill point bumps. Uh -huh. They're a waste of points. Uh, crit's good. Uh, uh, what was the first one here? This was, um, two up in fighting. D it, and Sounds rad. Think, okay, think about the future when you look at this. Yeah, 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 yeah. All I right? know, no, for sure. I know. <laughs> well, you don't have to think about the future. You just have to look at the icon for a half second. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, two, yeah, yeah. Two weapon fighting is good, but you'll have to be doing two weapons if you pick that. Mm -hmm. Critical strike is good. Empathy mm -hmm. is bad. Flurry is good. Uh... Extra melee attack during the round. Hmm, that sounds like it'll stack up nicely. Yeah. Uh, is Gearhead this... is bad. Conditioning is okay. Plus one to reflection. Yeah, for physical saving thrones. Okay. Implant levels is okay. You get you get stat boosts because of implants. Scouts get this shit for free. Power attack is is decent. Ooh. Ooh. I'm a I'm, I like that. I like mm. little mini install. Bla power blast. Oh, by the way, you start with level one power attack. Yeah. Uh, power. Same thing with power blast. Same for, but it's on your gun. Rapid shot. <laughs> no. Whatever. It's not. No. Yeah. Whatever. No. Uh, basic training with blasters. 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 What basic training for melee weapons. Okay. Toughness okay. is better for the weaker characters because okay. they they you need get an extra, more life. An extra health point. Yeah. Okay, and then... Dueling is the opposite of two-weapon fighting. Single-handed attacks, you gain plus one. You get plus in, one to instead, defense Instead of reducing the two-handed, like, uh, loss of accuracy, yeah. you're increasing the accuracy. And so if you go all it. dueling, you'll never miss. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you go all two-hand fi uh, two-weapon fighting, you will Missile. be you will eventually be just as good as if you just had the one sword, but you'll be attacking twice as often. Right, right, right. Okay. So let me just read this exact thing before I 100% commit to it. This is very old school. It's not D and D technically, but yeah. you can see it's clearly based off like that archetype. Minus six penalty. Uh, minus ten off. Yeah, because your two-weapon fighting penalty is fairly extreme when you start. And I'm not ambidextrous. No, you'll never be ambidextrous. Yeah, okay. Balanced weapon offhand can further reduce attack penalty, so you get and, some options. And there. that's for the first one. Okay. Right? If you go all the way to the right, it'll be like 
it, you, it'll almost negate the the loss of of shit. Got it. Okay. I, I, I aesthetically, I'm a fan. So I'm I gonna, I agree with you. I'm I'm going here. I also went that way. Okay. Oh, oh. yeah. Yeah. We can do their or their suggested names too. That's, that's good. That's a decent name. That's a good one. But do you want to do something special? What's something special? Well, you did you did you plan any special particular Star Warsy name? I mean, I can throw a, a an apostrophe in the middle of Wooly, but that's not really going to be that cool. You know, I didn't I didn't plan. I didn't plan. Oh no. And the reason why I didn't plan is because I know that the the the, the face details mm -hmm. are super duper restrictive. Mm -hmm. You know, so I kind of just said like fuck it, I'll go with the flow. Mhm. Mm um Navara Shar. Okay, we got that. Should I re I like that, but what, should we randomize it for a little bit more? Yeah, why not? All right, keep that in mind. You should randomize it and then minor alter it slightly. Yeah. No. 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 Eh. No. That's just all over the place. That's great. All right. Hes <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh that oh that first one was good. Oh, yeah, it's, we're just it's gonna, Mad Libs. Yeah, we're just going to go back to what we had there. Uh, let's see what the best way to do this would be to be like... It'd be to just delete. Delete. But I gotta, I gotta do the whole thing. All right. Oh, these stu oh man, this was such a, a fucking great time in terms of like... Was this... When the fuck did Kodor come out? Like 2004? Like the prequels were happening and they sucked a bunch of shit. And then like this came out and you're like... <sighs> yeah, because they, they and they freed themselves from the chains of the current continuity. Well, what's actually super going so back super into goofy the past. is that the old Republic comics that this is based off of are actually like ancient technology. Oh, and yeah, like yeah, yeah. very old. But when the game came out, they're like, "Nah, man, it's just like regular Star Wars." <laughs> well, I don't. It it doesn't even let me scroll back up to my portrait just in case I wanted to like. No, you you were sure that. right. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, maybe I wanted those cornrows for a minute. Well, then go back and redo all your shit. Jesus Christ, you guys. Aggressive. Let's do it. We're going to a galaxy far, far away. Long time ago. I like my sensible cut. Yeah. Sensible. Good for a space person. Yeah! Disney presents... Star Wars. Hey, remember when Bioware made great games that didn't get canceled? Hmm. After you, Wolves. Four thousand years before the rise of the Galactic Empire, the Republic verges on collapse. Darth Malak, last surviving apprentice of the Dark Lord Revan, has unleashed an invincible Sith armada upon an unsuspecting galaxy. Oh, shit. Crushing all resistance, Malak's war of conquest has left the Jedi Order scattered and vulnerable as countless knights fall in battle, and many more swear allegiance to the new Sith Master. In the skies above the Outer Rim, world of Tatis, a Jedi battle fleet engages the forces of Darth Malak in a desperate effort to halt the Sith's galactic domination. Dot, 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 dot. There's too many dots in that ellipses. Don't worry about it. It's three dots, not four. Man, the what Sith, the fuck is this? The Sith are jerks. Even though... Well, oh I my. mean, that that's literally, like, they're born that way. What are you gonna do? No, they're, they're not. Yeah, they were. Okay, so wait, you actually know a little bit more than I thought you did. <laughs> what the fuck? We're gonna get super into that later in the game. Sick. Oh, man. Oh, we gotta crank that volume a little bit. Yeah, a little, we turned it down for that shit. Oh, yo, your ship's getting wrecked. Wow, you're dead. You're fucking dead. Yep. That's a good volume. At that point, when you're on that ship and you're getting shot up like that, you might as well just jump into space. Well, guess what? It's time for you to jump into space. Idiot. How are you sleeping through that shit? Oh, man. My eyelids. That's crazy. I'm like a flappy mannequin. I'm like... Girl Finn. Man, this actually upscales really well. Yeah, We've this looks this looks way better than what I played. 
The Endar Spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. Get the fuck out of here, you stupid idiot! The what? Did you fall out of your <laughs> <body? laughs> Yeah, there's the no way out of this Spire without sounding like an idiot. On. This ship. You probably don't even know who I am, do you? I'm Trask Olga. Hey Trask. With the Republic fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. We work opposite shifts. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up. We have to find Bastila. You gotta find Bastila. Make sure she makes it off the ship alive. Oh man, I remember when he starts shoving the fourth wall into your face. Oh yeah. Bastila is the commanding officer on the Endar Spire. Well, not an officer really, but she's the one. It's a really laid-back way of talking, considering the ship is exploding. imminent doom. Yeah. You swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission. Now it's time to make good on that oath. Might as well be looking at the camera as he says these lines. There's something about the way that, like, all the characters will eventually pan their head and look at you from the side. kind of potential in 20 years. But all that potential doesn't mean a thing if you can't... Oh man, Willie, you're the best. You're the be Oh man, you're so good. Such a big special. Fuck that. You not a chance against the Sith by yourself. We gotta stick together if you wanna make it out of this alive. What a jackass! So you, gear. you need to suit up so we can get out Damn. Here. No real outside, huh? No real options. The right here we go. Oh, wow. I the forgot about that. Here we go, yeah. Towards your foot Press the A button to open your locker. What is the A button? You're gonna have fun with the inventory in this game. I, I remember. Then press the A button to open it. Okay. All right, yeah, this this is not doing the the bad things that I was having problems with before. So oh, I bet that's good. That's good. All right, you got a bunch of shit. Just get items. Thank you. And then put that shit on. Why well, can only be used in combat, oh. dumbass? Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh no, that's no, that's good. Okay, that's what you want. No, I'm just looking at the black button there. It's... Oh yeah, no, that's start. Let's start. It's start. It's oh, we're yeah, fine. We're good. fine. The button prompts are gonna be what they are. Mm -hmm. Um, great. Okay, so give me my shit. You got your clothing. That's good. And then give me my shit. Nope. 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 There you go. Thank you. Short sword. You got a big sword in the in the the other hand. Nope. Try your left arm. There's nothing. No, sorry. Go down one. Wooly, bottom this? left. Yeah, no left weapon? Nothing there. Alright. My options are gun or sword. No, Did you pick it. sword? I pick sword. You're cool. That's what- that's what. That's all, that's all you get. Yep. Hey. Yeah, so there's a button on PC to just twirl that shit. I don't know what it is on console. Sounds good. Alright, I got my shit, now what? Okay, let's move out. We should stick together. You'll have more success with a party than on your own. Yeah, we'll see about that. Trask is part of your gang. Alright. Switch party members by going to the party selection screen. You can do this instantly without having to return to base. Yeah, that's kind of nuts. All right. Yeah. Any equipped items remain on the character. Can I pull them off while I'm not near them or around them or they're somewhere else? I don't remember. It's been I played this game yeah, so relatively near after release. Down. But don't worry. I've got the Which is like yeah, almost 15 I, years ago. Exactly. And I watched my friend playing it, but uh, <laughs> that was so long ago. You can switch who is the party leader by pressing the black button. <gasps> Oh, the god damn it. Press the black button god on your Xbox damn it, controller. damn that's what I was afraid of. It's a bumper. Simply target the door, then press the A button to open. I'm hoping it's the triggers. Eligible no, no, no. targets. It's not triggers. It's a, it's bumper? a bumper? Yeah, I'm telling you. Okay, white button. We'll pause the game. Yeah, which is hella useful. Yep. There you go, you did it. Use him to unlock the door. Now that the door is open, you better take the lead again. Nailed it. Yep. And I got some XP for that Good shit. for you, buddy. Alright. This is Cartel Nassi. The Sith are threatening to overrun our position. Shit! We can't hold out long against their firepower. All hands to the bridge! That was Why, so we can Cartel die on the bridge? Right? <laughs> He's one of the Republic's best pilots. He's seen more combat than the rest of the Endar Spire's crew. He's the and he can He's die just as easy as the Poe Dameron. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. There's a map of the Endar Spire and a copy oh, well, can you hand me that mouse over there? Electronic journal, just in case we get yeah. separated. Fine, but how do I? Yeah. Oh man, I wish I could pull up my journal and it looks like Life is Strange. Little a lot of scribbles, little a lot stick, of crayon. little 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 drawings. All right. Active quest is where I. Hey, find do me out. a favor. Hit uh, the D-pad. Like move that shit around. Okay, so that's how you use that. You you go left and right to pick different types of items, and you hit up and down to switch between them. 
Med pack. Yeah. Right. Adrenal stamina makes you stronger. Med pack heals you, yada yada. Yep. And my journal was... Let's see. Party. Uh, skills. Messages. Is the, the which is just everything Which is fan said. a log, which is fantastic. We're going to need that log. for LP purposes. Oh, hell yeah, you are. Active quests. A somewhat map. okay map. And, and your, your, your regular shit. Great. Okay. Let's get out of here. But first... Beep boop. Oh, you're just you're just doing your oh, thing. Oh yeah. All right. Well, unless he can do something about it. Nope. That door is locked. I don't have the codes to open it. But switch me to the party leader so you can use my security skills to slice into the access panel and open the door. Yes. Okay. So security, you're gonna want to have two security. On someone on the door. in your party, just in case, because that lets you open almost every single locked door in the whole game. Yeah, okay. Even with that that shitty rank, mm -hmm. it just doesn't let you open like the important story locked doors, right? And some doors have good shit behind them. Yeah. It'll also let you unlock chests, unlock. He has med pack self. He's got stamina too. Okay. Yeah. Just go up to that door. Look. Yeah. Security. And that's how it worked. Wow, your aim. Star Wars, man. Everyone has the shittiest aim ever. That's what you say before so you get So this is so good. It's auto-pause whenever yeah. you see enemies. Yeah. I love that. Give me some time. Yeah. Uh, hostile targets using right and left triggers. Okay. Mm -hmm. And currently you're using attack, but you could use power attack if you wanted. You'll probably be happy with the power attack animation. Let's do a normal one right now. Yeah, do it. In a combat mode, it locks the camera on the selected target. Okay. And you'll attack once per round. Combats. It's all behind the- it's all the hidden dice rolls is basically okay. what they're saying. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Go! Miss. Yikes. Yeah. So when you activate the feet, it'll be the next turn. But you kick their asses so hard, it doesn't matter. Yeah, use the med pack. Did I take a hit? Uh, probably. To use an item like a med pack. Select it on the menu and then just press yeah. A. Yeah, okay. So because you're a soldier and you're going to probably pump a bunch of points into med packs uh, and to treat injury, your main character will be super, super good at healing the party with items. Which is a separate option that'll pop up when I have more, I suppose. Well, it's... Uh, you can just do it now. In fact, you're gonna do it now. I, it said I only had self. Mm -hmm. Self, self. Yeah, see? So I couldn't heal him even if I wanted to. Is he- did he even take damage? No, and I'm fine, actually. Okay. So what's the point? Onwards. Bodies? Nothing. No, no. Anything you would get from a body, it would- it would show up on the ground real obvious. Okay. Door, is there security on it? Nope. Here you go. Oh, they hit you right away. Alright, I took two. Give a power shot a chance. Yeah, power attack. And let me change targets so that yeah. I can do this. Whoa! Didn't do much there. I... So this is one of the stupidest things oh, ever. Damn it. Yeah, that's you, fine. That's, that's fine. fine. Um, when this game came out, I, like, marked the fuck out and lost my shit over the fact that when you attack characters in melee... Um, they take hit? They, they, they like, react. everybody takes their sword out and go, bang, bang, yeah, bang. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. not just, like... Okay, now you have a long sword and a short sword. You're right, right, right. That means you can equip the long sword on your right, or your uh, yeah, and then the short sword in the other one. Yep. Depends whether or not you want to be right or left-handed. Okay. Combat suit has that by comparison. Ah, uh, oh, geez, no pluses or minuses showing up easy, huh? Yeah. And can you go to the short sword uh, for me? Because I think it actually matters what hand you put it in. Short sword is in the right. Yeah. Let's see. Balanced. Yeah, it has to be your offhand. 
two so short- weapon penalty if used in the off hand. Yeah, so you have to put the short swords in your left hand. I'm right handed by default. Yeah, and nobody can change. Like that I was, don't believe that wasn't so. a character action uh, uh, no. option. Okay, so short goes in the left. Fine. Yeah, long goes in the right. Now, of course, now that I've said that, I'm super wrong. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Okay, so yeah, okay. now you're now you're minus two and zero. Well, let's read what it says about this for the long sword. Uh, this is where the roots of the lightsaber begin. Where traditional swords still wielded today in many primitive con- cultures. In the right hand. They're simple but still effective. But not the right hand. The right <laughs> hands. And yeah, all right, that's fine. Yeah, see so now you're at minus two and zero. And I immediately if you, look. Sort if you of cool. if you click the sticks or something, do you spin those? No, I don't. Oh man, that's that. I guess that came later. See, that's how you go. So, remains will just show up with, like, a big blue icon. Alright. What's over here? Get that plastic seal. Got a med pack. Yeah. There and, you go. Uh, sh- blue, the blue menu, the blue uh, bar is shields, right? Yes. I believe, but you don't have any shields. Oh, by the way, the two weapon bonus... Like two-handed fighting. Yeah. Uh, if you're using a like twin lightsaber like Darth Maul, that counts as two weapon fighting. That counts as two. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know that. How fortunate. So two weapon fighting is both one in each hand and the double. Oh, you guys are far away, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. You could throw a grenade. What? So far away. You got one of them. So far away. All right, let's see it. Wow. So you're you're not quite as accurate, but you see like two attacks are coming up every round. Yeah. So so Wooly is going for a DPS character. This should work out. Like you're going for damage. Yes. That seems to be the case. And you're just survivally enough to, 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 to kill the enemy. Works for me. That was two waves. All right. So our parakets are health packs for uh, droids. Yeah, I'm assuming bodies are going to disappear as soon as I exit rooms. I don't believe so. Like when you zone, yes, but not when you just walk out. All right. Well, let me just make certain. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you got? What do you got? I'm so got? excited to be playing this game. I'm excited to be playing it, and it works. It's such a good game. I'm so, I'm really happy that it actually fucking works. All right, so the map had uh, a couple of bends and whatnot. So let me just see mm. what it looks like. Well, hard. yeah, so... I you, can see what hard progression is, actually. Yeah, it's really, really easy. Okay. All right, so then... Uh, yeah, let's... Take a left. Hold on. That's where you came from. Uh... Was so these doors lead to nothing. Yeah, if they have green on them, that means they're doors. So that map will never have a hidden room no. or anything like that. No. Okay. All right. And then Straight I can choose forward. to go there or there. Well, no, you can't choose to go anywhere. You you already hit the dead end on top, and you came from the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Just no hidden boxes or anything. Oh, sounds. Dark Jedi. This fight is too much for us. We better stay back. All we do is get in the way. A little preview of how cool it's gonna look later. Right. That's the animation. Do the little twirl. Rave, rave, rave. Yeah. Oh. oh that was one of the Jedi accompanying Bastila. What a shitty way to go. Terrible. All that work to get fucking bopped by an explosion. Ter- just terrible. I got four of these. I'll save it. I'll pop. So demolitions is the skill that affects those. The better your demolitions, the better those will be. So you started with power attack, huh? I did. Okay. So if you're going to be going two-hand like this, flurry is probably a better option to build your shit in. You think so, yeah? Yeah. Because you don't want to miss your power attacks. Right. And it costs some shit. Um, and, and flurry adds a third attack. Right. Uh, okay, so I'll, I'll have to do that when I get my next level up. Which actually might have happened already, because they happen in the background, don't they? No, you'll know. It'll have oh, it'll, it'll explosion on your character portrait. Okay, good. Uh, da, 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 da. That being said, you're going to get tons of feats. Was there Because you're a soldier. 
So like the hard choices for you? No. No, Wooly. If there there are no green doors, there's nothing. No, I was looking for items. Oh, okay. Um, uh, feats are going to be easy for you to pick. Um, skills are going to be hard to pick. Gotcha. Is that yes? That's correct. I actually wish they had re-released this game on PC with controller support the way they did. <sighs> so so there's your level up. There's your level up. Okay. I mean, it fucking... It's on PC, but it's barely on PC. Yeah, it's one of those old games that just, like, didn't get updated ever, and it's kind of wonky. And, like, the resolution stuff is really goofy, actually. They dragged the files, you know, and then just yeah. fucking called it a day. All right, there's your... Never! Ever and I mean never! Auto, auto level up. <laughs> How bad? It's it, it bad. It'll 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 go to these crappy decisions and it won't like min max your character at all. You know. Hmm. So I think you get feats every level, but you won't get skills every level. I have to go, and it will. It forces me to go one to the other. So yeah. All right, I can put a point into anything I want to, and I'm gonna want to put it up to persuasion too. You're sure. Oh, I don't have enough even. So I have to, I'd have. It's to... also a cross class skill. Okay. Scouts and scoundrels get it, I believe, as okay. a main skill. All right, computer use demo. So, so for your class skills, the ones you'll get the best bang out of your buck is treat injury demo. Uh, I think awareness, which is the uh, ability to spot stealth and stealth enemies oh. and not get sneaked attacked. Oh, that's cool. Okay. And that's a one point cost, so I can't afford. I can, I can afford this right now. Mm -hmm. Running imparts a minus five penalty to any checks of the skill. Okay. Oh, there's a, there's a run button then. No, it's it's running and walking. Okay. The other class skill demolitions. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd probably go with treat it. Like, see what the recommended is, but treat injury is good. Yeah. They really want treat injury to be up there. I honestly think like that point in persuade is like. Ah, okay. uh, it depends. That's fine. They wanted me at four, so it's fine. Mm -hmm. Um. Because remember, if it's a cross-class skill, it yeah. takes two points to level it up instead of one. Okay, right. So treat injury just means like my healing is going to be better with an average med pack. That's correct. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, well we'll go with what they want there. Uh, and feats, what do they recommend? They recommend Fuck that. rapid shots. Remove that. Go and kill that. Yeah. Okay. Jesus Christ, you guys. Kill that. Is it this? Which one was it? Or this one? Yeah. Kill uh, it. Remove feet. Oh. So Flurry was down here. Uh, there's also Crit Strike. But Power Attack also works. Like, they're they're all good. Well, I can't double pump power right now. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, that, that, that extra swing. Yeah, you get a third swing. Yeah, okay. Let us do it. But I don't want to start spreading too far on this, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, what I did is I went, or you, or Critical Strike might also be good. If you go back. So, crit strike is that one. So, it doubles the critical threat range. And it'll stun enemies if it hits. That might actually be better, because you have two possible attacks. Uh, doubles the crit range, and a, roll to a critical hit will result on a 19. You have, is there a way to show the numbers? Or are they all, are they all in the background? No, but I just mean, like, the rolls oh, no. themselves. Absolutely yeah. not. Okay, okay. Uh, if it also... If it hits a target, the target's stunned for six seconds. Oh, you get even more off of that. This feat lowers defense by five. Critical strike works with melee. Weapon. So, by the way, for your melee attacks, it's flurry, power attack, and crit strike. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. it. Uh, I'm going to stick with flurry for now, but okay. I, I will come back for crit for sure. Because right. that's nice. Uh, so, let's... Yeah. Let's do that. All right. Sounds good. You're good. What was this? A blaster. Sure, why not? Get out of my face with that. And no other panels. Bo -ba boom Kaboom blah blah. Everyone on the bridge is dead. Kerberps. And there's terrorist. Looks nice. Alright. Get the fuck out of here. Gotta get to the escape pot. Uh, oh, oh. Burp, burp. Nope. nope. Unfortunately not. Good soundtrack going there. Oh, uh, well, Star Wars. Yeah. It's real good. Something behind here. Oh, man, we just... Damn, another dark Jedi. Oh. I'll try to hold him off. You get to the escape pods. Go! Oh, you're fucking done. Yeah. 
How fortunate for you that a random explosion might save your life. Nah, he's fucking done. That's unfortunate. That's- that's where he's at. Alright, so then this door, cause that arrow leads yep. me back to that door. There you go, you found your load screen. And it saves real fast! Wow. When paused, this action is stack. Nassi on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Basilis escape pod is away. Great. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. Now I can't wait for you much longer. You have to get to the Get the fuck pod. out of here. Hey, Wolves, because of the type of game this is, as soon as you're done with this combat, go ahead and make yourself a new save file. Yep. Rotate that shit. Constantly. Alright. I wouldn't even rotate. I would just make new save files until it makes you stop. Go! Look how fast you run! One, two, three! Uh. Did you just he heal again? He healed. I didn't heal. Alright. Sorry, dead guy. That's alright. With your dope armor. That's not too bad. He tried. Nothing in there. I, I can see grenades coming in super handy. Well, not with this character, unless you pump your demo. But I, I just mean, like, you run into a room and you're like, ah, fuck that. Just yeah. Fuck. You guys go. See, you do a, a billion damage, but there's a lot of hits that you just miss. You know? I see it. I see it. Oh. Be careful. There's a whole squad of Sith troopers on the other side of that door. You need to find some way to thin their numbers. How will you, you do it? Program the damaged assault droid to help you if you have enough repair parts. Or you could use computer spikes to slice into the terminal and use the Endar Spire security systems against the Sith. The options are up to you. Unfortunately, Wooly's character is not very smart or skilled. Uh, let's see here. Da, 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 da. Yes. Three blocks is what, 16 billion? Yeah, they just don't even explain yeah. what they mean. You're still around and not paying attention. That's the droid, man. Yeah, okay. Okay, you got some parts and some spikes. But I'm kind of an idiot. Spikes are hack tools. So, I don't even have that option, so let's see if... Uh... Oh, talk to the droid. There you go. The droid repair tutorial. Yeah, why not? Sure. Uh, disabled and can be repaired by the player. Fixing a droid in this manner requires parts. Alright. More complicated repairs require more parts. And the lower your repair, the more parts it takes. Uh, okay. So anyone can do it, but it's just fucking expensive if you're yeah. stupid. Same thing with slicing. Alright. So it's gonna cost five and I have seven. No. It's gonna cost seven and I have five? It's gonna cost zero because it's the tutorial. Oh, I was just, I was looking at the, okay, can, no, computer use is completely, yes. Yeah, so, yeah. Well, okay. See there, now you'll see. So, you have eight, seven parts, but because your repair is zero, you can't actually do both. Mm -hmm. So all you can do is engage it in patrol mode. Well, they both cost the same, though, don't they? Yes, but if you activate the droid shields and it's not on, it'll just stand there worthless. I see, okay. Once you end the session, the droid will begin patrolling. Okay. And fuck up anybody it sees. And that's I've it. only got three, so that's all I can do. Alright. If you run over to the computer terminal to your left, uh, uh, now, it's, now it's to your right. Currently to my right, yeah. You can try and do something else. I got some XP for that. Right. Computer splicing is ex uh, slicing is exactly the same. Slice into computers to try to override the pre pro It's hack. It's exactly the same as repair. It okay. just uses a different skill. More complicated reprogramming, requires more spikes, mm -hmm. and this, I guess this is just like like guns and turrets and, and shit. And doors. Ah, uh, okay. And gas, and all sorts of shit. Okay. So that Wait, was... Did he I, just do the job? I think he did the job while you were in here. <laughs> okay. So yeah, just log out. Well, I didn't even get a chance. Yeah. Well done. Good job, buddy. Did I get that experience? Yeah, or? you did. Oh, fun. You got the experience from, uh, like, making the, the droid go. 
Uh, but the kills then don't matter. I'm not sure. It, there's more than enough experience in the game to get you to 20, which is the cap. Prototype. Oh, Fibro you want to turn that on? You want to grab that shit? Switch to give items is to give it just just straight up hand to, to dump to... shit. But your item, your inventory is forever and unlimited, so who cares? Cyroban. Cryoban grenade. Oh, freeze grenade. Yeah. Okay. I want to see that prototype Viper blade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Please be a right hand. Yeah. Uh, damage is 1 to 10, plus 1. And the critical threat is 19 to 20. That means... Oh, the prototype Viper blade is a balanced weapon. So this will work... Uh, this is actually better than your short sword. In the offhand? Yeah. Uh, so the, the, the plus two plus zero is the hands, right? Plus two plus zero? No, that's, that's, uh, that's to hit. Okay. Um, versus two weapon penalty if used in the off hand, so. So yeah, back out. If I, if I, so hold on, if I use it in the left hand, then there's a <sighs> slight penalty? No, it's. Am I misunderstanding that? Yeah. Okay. Balanced is plus two to hit. See, dual wielding naturally incurs a minus to your chance to hit because mm -hmm. it's harder. Mm -hmm. And if it's balanced, it gives you a plus two on your offhand so that it negates that a little bit. Okay, the, the way it's phrased in that short way, I was mis it said ver like plus two, plus zero, versus two weapon penalties. So two... Ver it's plus it's two... It's describing... A, a, it's plus two to the penalty. Yeah. Yes, okay, okay. I would say I, was, I thought it was in, like... Introducing the concept of yeah. a penalty right Alright, so let's see the damage on that. That's 1 to 10, and the critical threat is 19 to 20. Yes. Okay, what's the what's the longsword's damage? Uh, 1 to 12, and it has a much smaller critical threat, but it's times 2. Yeah, that's about right. So Offhand weapons generally do less damage. 1 to 10 versus 1 yeah, to Yeah, so 12. if you back out, you see it, it says 5 to 14, and the other one is 4 to 15. Yeah, so that's my range on yeah. this. Yeah, and so... On the left is, to hit is minus one, but to to hit on the other one is plus, plus one. Plus one. Yeah. I understand. Okay. Ooh, those numbers. <laughs> yeah, we're getting right back into the old... Uh, yeah, you've never DVD played Tons of a this game stuff. with this system. No, I haven't. Okay, because to me, this is, system is supernatural because it's like, it's Baldur's Gate. It's yeah. this. It's no, the, all those please, games use this. Please, uh, be please patient. be patient yeah, as no I, I try to get my bearings. Honestly... The to hit stuff is only confusing because this is the escape from Thacko, I would call it. Right. Right? Where right. it's all been turned into... Oh, is he going to follow me into the next room? In no. There's okay. only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. How do I know? I'm a soldier with the Republic, like you. We're the last two crew members left in the Endar Spire. I'm a soldier. Last escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. <laughs> Come on. That's a pretty good point, Karth. Congrats! Man, it's like just being on the wrong spaceship. Oh, can I talk to you for a second? Uh, I guess not. No. You cannot talk to him just yet. In fact, you must leave. Yeah. Your only hope, idiot! Step away. No, so... Yeah, just no matter how much of a badass Sith and or Jedi you are, being on the wrong ship at the wrong time... Well, lightsaber or force powers ain't gonna save you if your ship gets blown up. And there's no force breathe in space. No. No, there isn't. There is force don't have to breathe in space, which is force uh, stasis. Ah. Uh, but then you would just float there as long as you can handle turning it on. Yeah. Uh, oh. I wonder if you could cars it. Eventually you'd get tired. Maybe stop thinking. Maybe. I don't know. You remind me of someone. But that couldn't be. Yellow lightsabers are dope. Because that's so far in the future. <laughs> yeah. Very so far. Well, the Sith generally like certain styles. Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod. The richest man in Karth. So the weirdest, the weirdest thing about Karth is, in the future, he is a Mass Effect character on your ship. He's the, one of the human guys. 
And he's the, the exact, voice actor. Or? Yeah, the voice actor. Okay. And he's the exact same voice, and he's the exact same character, mm -hmm. just with a different name, and it's weird. Well, it's, I like that that loyalty to their voice actors. That's fun. At least for the moment, we're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously Good for you, Karth. To drag you away from our crash site and all the confusion, and I stumbled into this. Wait, Mass Effect One? Yeah. Who's he? He's a uh, Aiden or Caden or whatever oh, his fucking name is. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. He even looks the same. Uh. Terrace is under Sith Wooly control. said the Sith. Is orbiting the planet. I did. They've declared martial law and they've imposed a planet. For people watching on their phones, you gotta say the thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You understand a remarkable number of alien languages. That's pretty rare in a raw recruit. But it should come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. And uh, yeah, from what I understand, there's no point to playing this anyway but binary. Yeah, pretty much. You get stat bonuses for scraping the top of the the <laughs> the, the top or the bottom of the thing. Of the, the, the thresholds. Yeah, that's great. And you get different uh, different feats based on it. That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. She was. Wooly asked, "Who's Bastila?" Sorry. Yes. <laughs> Oh, you haven't played an RPG on the channel, have you? No. Uh, wait. Mm -hmm. Final Fantasy X. A real RPG. No. <laughs> Everyone talks all over the place in that, but the yeah. options here. Uh, Alright. We have to try and find her. So, how can one person be so important? If she's a prize, she can just, look, Jedi's can do for themselves. And if they're so looking for best girl, forget it! <laughs> All right, I can see how this LP is gonna go. People are gonna be very happy. Find us, and trust me, you don't want that. Getting off this world isn't gonna be easy. We're probably gonna need Bastila's help. Not to mention that without her, the whole Republic war effort is. She's very important. How do you even know Bastila's still alive? Bastila's young, and she has a powerful command of the Force. We survived the crash landing, so I'm willing to bet that she may have too. Besides, what's the alternative? She also has a very expensive no voice actress. <laughs> so that would be a real waste of money. Did you ever meet Bastila in uh, your no. when you play? Oh, okay. You'll be completely unshocked. Uh So what do you suggest we do next? Many of Darth Malak's followers can use the dark side of the Force, and the Sith have already killed more than their share of Jedi in this war. Nobody will be looking for a couple of common soldiers. Except for the dark Jedi. Careful. We can move about the planet without attracting notice. A luxury Bastila won't have. She's gonna have half the Sith fleet looking for her. They know how important she is to the war effort. The whole planet is under quarantine. No ships can land or take off. So, if Bastila's gonna escape Terrace, she's gonna need our help. And we'll probably need hers. You're gonna really... Oh, did you... Oh, okay. So, I'll explain something. One of the questions is... How can any one person be possibly this be Im important. this important? Yeah. Uh, and the answer is that Bastila has a fairly unique force power called battle meditation, which means that everyone within like a thousand feet of her gains like clarity of thought and like le lessens their fear. Oh, wow. She's this massive, massive wow. war buff. Okay. I just assumed the answer to that question was she's no, a Jedi at, idiot. When she's around, everyone around her gets appreciably stronger and smarter. Wow. Now what's in it for me, though? You mean besides a chance to get off this planet before the Sith find you? Do you do you have any idea what the Sith do to prisoners of war? Not take them? <laughs> no, they take them. Try, no, they take them. Hmm. If you want my help, you better make it worth my while. Never mind that the Sith will destroy the Republic and ravage the galaxy. You're only in this for the credits. Don't worry. The Republic and the dick. You me find I got deep pockets, bitch. While, I'm sure. That's why they call because me pockets. I got deep everything. <laughs> Fine. That's why they call me pockets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah! Hey, your character's name is Pockets now! <laughs> Uh, I guess I can help you out. <laughs> While you were out, I did some Pockets the Jedi. Reports of a couple of No renaming in this game, huh? It's just like Lucky Ted isn't his real name; it's his yeah. nickname. Yeah. 
All right. It won't do Basil any good if we get ourselves killed. Uh, let's look for Basil. Da, 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 da. I want to ask you some questions, I and I want them answered immediately. What do you know about Malik? <laughs> it's, the, it's the most important question possible. That's how it works. It's obvious that Malik's a ruthless tyrant who'll crush anyone who stands in his way, just like Revan was. Experience has shown that the Sith won't stop until the Republic lies in ruins. Malik and his Sith don't respect anything except raw, brutal power. It's hard to imagine how someone who used to be a It's gonna take a really long time for the Republic to be in ruins, but it eventually happens. Man, it's like, you're gonna learn a lot about the Sith promotional structure later on. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, it's mm -hmm. like, my boss died, I'm the new boss. That's Yeah, that's what it is. Did you kill your boss? You're super the new boss. Yeah. Sounds like they've got the right idea. The Sith are butchers. Soldiers, civilians, I mean, they don't care who they kill, even, even children. Awesome. Right now, the Republic is the only thing keeping Malik's brutal fist from crushing the entire it's galaxy. It's a big old fist. And it won't be long until even the Republic falls to the Sith fleet. Don't, doesn't the Republic have, like, a real army? Yeah. All right. Well, I want to ask you something I'll else, you though. I'll I can, though I, I don't know how much help it'll be. How fucking rad are the Sith, bruh? Tell me about how rad the Sith are. I understand why you want to know more about me. I... I kind of get the feeling we'll be spending a lot of time together over the next week. Oh. But this isn't really the best time for long introductions. We should stay focused on the task at hand. But if yeah. I become better friends with you, then when I betray you, I get more power, like Sasuke. Damn. Was you have to love them before you betray them. Metropolis. Then the Dallas. real strength comes out. That was a long time ago. The Man, fuck Sasuke. <laughs> ...is still pretty safe. If it wasn't for the Sith occupation and the planet-wide quarantine, it... Might not even be a bad place to live, but farther down, things have degenerated. The, the lower city is nothing but a slum. Oh, let's get into them slums. Swoop gangs. Control, <laughs> and the undercity is. That's well, even worse. The lowest level of terrace is a wasteland. Star Wars slums are like fucking. I I the craziest I, slums because you never know who's got some amazing tech. I, in. So this is like them literally saying, like the writers going like, All right, I, I bet want. I bet Coruscant's actually mad fucked up at the bottom when of those skyscrapers. Deep, deep, deep into the bush. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because the bush is now the tech bush. Yeah. All right, let's go. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. Welcome we to your new base, Pockets. In the upper city. Just remember to keep a low profile. I've heard some grim stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation techniques. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. And wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do That's a super good way to interrogate that's somebody. Yeah. It's glasses. like I'm gonna beat you up until you tell me. Or I can just make you forget that you don't want to tell me. <laughs> just turn you into someone else, why don't I? Alright, deep pockets and, and deep space. And, and you ask them like a question and they're like, Oh yeah, sure. I don't know why I wouldn't tell you. Is. Absolutely. Uh let me just go back to that log for a second. Alright. What do we got over here? Yep. Some shit. Yeah. Oh boy, are you not gonna use this very often. Is this my fucking Joel table? Yeah. Alright. But it's an RPG Joel table. Oh boy. Here's what you're gonna use it for. Making my lightsaber. There's, there's two things you can do with it. You can create new items out of junk-ass shit, or... Break down old ones? You can just straight up slot in weapon upgrades to existing weapons. So, Prototype Vibra Blade is really good. So if you hit upgrade item, you can look and see that you actually have a piece that you can upgrade on the left there. Damage bonus slashing one. Yeah, so click it. There. Now you, you've you added the, the fucking shit to it, right? But what if I find a better sword? Then fucking don't do that. Yeah. I can't remember, but I think you can actually take stuff out. Oh, that'd be great. All In right, fact, so this, so this since we're at the very beginning of the game, we might as well test it right here. So assemble it, and then see what yeah. happens. Upgrade right. item. Unequip. Assemble. There you go. Doesn't matter. My, ma my materia is not permanent. Yeah, it's materia. Excellent. Which is gonna be great- Oh, I skipped the animation. Which is gonna be great if you get a lightsaber. <sighs> what are the odds of that happening? I'm just, an, know. I'm just an average Joe. Okay, let's let's actually talk about this, because this, this, like, mechanic or idea exists way beyond this game. It's an old game in which 
certain plot and and or gameplay elements are so clearly known after their release yeah or even by the preview thing right there was a lightsaber upgrade option on that bench <laughs> the icons are lightsabers when you're buffing your your spear skills Why do you keep bothering yeah. us? We should probably read these aliens. Yeah. There was a patrol here yesterday, but have they found us? Why do you keep bothering us? Oh. How we deal with smart mouth ah. Now the rest of you get up against the wall before I lose my Yeah, there might as well have been like a skill option that's like Blorse Blightning. Yeah. <laughs> well, you got found out in like a second. I'll use my grenade here and see if this does anything cool. Well, that worked. Hey, if you if you really like those grenades, feel free to pump your demo. I mean, that was a problem solver. He should have talked you should never have talked back to the Sith. Poor Exjil. Thankfully, you helped us, human. Thank you. Thank you, human. Oh, the Sith, they come here all the time, and they're gonna come here later, but maybe they'll be dead now. I'm gonna paraphrase it. That's I have more fine. fun doing yeah, that. Yeah, you, you really do enjoy that. Get the <laughs> fuck out of my way, or you're dead too. I'm sorry, human! I just wanted to- oh, I'll, I'll leave you alone! I don't want peace. Don't worry about the bodies, I'll just throw them in the trash. And then the Sith will track them, and then they'll be wrong. Pieces, not peace. Yeah. They take forever to talk, by the way. They do. So with any luck, they just will ignore this apartment for the rest of the game. All right, before you clean that shit up, let me let me let ravage. me rummage around. Let me get inside those holes. Blaster, poison, let me see what adrenal. I want to find out what they got inside there. Oh, you know what? You might want to switch to Karth and, and see what Karth is is bringing to the table. Oh yeah, that's true. All right. Ready. You can just do that in the inventory, I believe. All right, he's got clothing, and he's got two blasters. Karth's blaster, which is a really, really good blaster. It's a character blaster. He's got a vibroblade and a short sword. And he's got a regular blaster, and that's it. All right, it. you can be my gun support. Uh, he's good gun support. Yep. He's not the best. There'll be characters later that are just objectively better. And skill-wise, what are we looking at? Uh, is there a, a, a quick place to see? Here we go. Computer use, plus one... Uh, persuasion, repair. He's pretty all around. Yeah. He's, he's also a soldier. Yeah, he's, he's, he's me. So when you go soldier, soldier, like you are here, uh, the beginning of the game is substantially easier. You know, when the beginning of the game, your party member shit is limited. Yes. And stuff like that. All right. Now I want to see a circuit and I want to see you go through some goddamn plastic drums. Now hold on a minute. Let me see what we're working with. Oh, we're working with some fog of war. Yeah. That's where you came in. This is... Yeah. And I took a right. Let's just do a circuit. do a circuit. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Hey, janitor. Hey there. Well, watch, watch where you're walking. I just clean those floors. Oh, for real? Oh, for real? I will walk where I want to walk. I figure that just because I'm a janitor, you don't have to show me any respect. I'm beneath you. No, it's not because you're a janitor. It's because you're not me. Your That's pretty much it. Tomb, the first time your plumbing breaks down and raw sewage, raw space apartment, sewage. Then you'll be begging for Kadir to come help you. Out. Actually, I'll just force you to help me out. Besides, do you want to live? So, I sure don't. Well, we'll see who has the last laugh then. Now, is the purpose of this conversation to just put my points a little bit higher or lower? So the purpose. Of, well, one, the purpose of that conversation is to show you that your party members care about you what you do. And if you saw, Karth is pretty high up on the light side. Yeah. Um, so, let me, let me just... I'll be honest, Wooly. Uh -huh. You can make all your decisions. I personally fucking hate Karth. Oh, yeah? Because Karth what? is a fuck. Oh, you can go through that door, by no, the way. No, I know, but she's here. Sith was gonna be here, and they were gonna change the immigration laws on aliens. But then... I know Twi'leks have been given them special permission to live in the upper city. They don't have to live in the dumps. You know why they've been given special permission? Because they're, they're sex aliens. They're super safe, spacey sex... spacey... Yeah, okay. No blue thing means no nothing. 
All right. And then there was that door. All right. So let's go up here. Man. Wait. I don't want to do it that way. I just remembered. What now? I want to complete the circuit. Before opening doors? Really? It's this is a... Well, I mean, it's it's the one big room I'm in, right? Yeah, but you're just you're then you're gonna have to do two loops. Fine, it's locked. You know how I am. I don't want to trigger the next door cutscene. Don't worry about it. It's an RPG. You literally don't have to worry about that. Good. All right. You, you do you realize how much you freed me from the shackles? By the way, and chains can you not open those doors at all? Of a hall lug? Yeah. Hit up on the D pad. Slash. Bash. Hit, bash it. Some locked doors can be bashed. Not all doors... Or Not all doors can be bashed. But this door can. Am I hurting my sword? No, no, no. Ow! Okay, that's an option. Yeah! Uh, med packs, computer spikes, and credits. There's, there's no reason to ever not. Got it. Don't hurt me, I have nothing of value. Yeah, not- you don't now! You fucking Ithorian? Oh, I know the fucking names of the fucking... <laughs> oh, God. That's the... Well, it says right there, but... I know. I that... know, but I, I didn't... I said it without looking.